there's lots of planning going on, lots of people working around the clock, um, mm -hmm. making sure that no matter what happens, that uh, we would be prepared. I guess, though, we have to look at it like this. We've been in this situation actually many times before, from the Berlin blockade of sort of 1948, the Cuban Missile Crisis, uh, the invasion by the Warsaw Pact of Hungary and, and then Czechoslovakia. I mean, we have lots of cases where both sides have come to, to the brink. Um, and I'm sure, as you've heard, NATO actually doesn't have a responsibility to intervene in Ukraine. They're not a member of NATO. Uh, the best we can do is offer our financial support, our moral support, uh, weapons and training. Um, but sadly, sadly, I mean, I wouldn't say Ukraine is on their own entirely because the world is galvanizing but around them. But, but it's, um, it, it would be a potential step too far for us to risk uh, for example, a large-scale conventional war or a nuclear war uh, coming at, coming to to their rescue. It, it's it's a horrible calculation. Uh, 